Hey everyone, it's me, it's Jack from WhatCulture.com and I'm here with the villain, Marty Skull. Marty, you've just had a Rev Pro Showcase match mm -hmm. against David Starr. Yes. Uh, I was going to give him a nickname, but he's got too many, I can't. The product. The product. Like, uh, you Jewish coming. coming. Wrestler ever. There's no in wrestler Just a horrible human being. <laughs> Uh, yeah. How did the match go for you? Uh, did you enjoy it? Yeah, man, you know what? Like, uh, you know, it's a Rev Pro guest match. Obviously, uh, relatively well known for my work with uh, Rev Pro. But I've also competed many times already for uh, What Culture. And, uh, you know, every time it's, it's very enjoyable. You know, uh, it's a real sign of the times how well, kind of, not just, uh, you know, well, not just British wrestling, but wrestling in general was doing, you know. Uh, what Culture have a worldwide audience. And, going live on YouTube, so uh, of course I want to be a part of it and I'm sure I'm sure the fans want to see the villain, uh, you know, on the world culture and the YouTube and uh, yeah, I had a great time, he was, a, he was a good opponent but unfortunately David Starr, just like everybody else, fell victim to the villain via the cross twice chicken wing, no less, yes. Um, now I did want to ask you because as you mentioned we do have a global audience, a lot of fans mm. who might not be too familiar with how dare kind of independent wrestling at all, a lot of kind of more casual maybe WWE fans, uh, so they might not know that the vi you've not always been the villain. Mm -hmm. uh, you used to have a sort of no, I wouldn't know. Kind of, no. no, I was born the villain. I came out. You were born the I was like with the umbrella, uh, well, top you, knot, you know. You hid that away for so long. I before, did. Before embracing the yes. villain. Yes. Uh, what prompted yes. that change? Well, you just said it. I had to embrace it. You know, I mean, I, I get asked that a lot. They say, oh, so you used to be this guy and that guy, and maybe, like you said, fun loving, everything else. And they say, oh, why the change? But it's not like it wasn't a conscious decision to, I'm, like, I'm going to come up with a whole new persona and character. It's just a more coming of age thing, you know, like I've grown up as a man, of course, how, you know, I've been wrestling half my life, or I started training when I was 14, I'm, I'm 28 now, so, uh, you know, you mature in, 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 the, in the wrestling business, you know, I've become more of a, a, a man and, uh, you know, I'm not the same person now, age 28, as I was when I was 20 or 22, you know, so it's a natural progression, I think, you know, uh, getting a bit more older, uh, you know, a bit more of a chip on my shoulder, and, uh, you know, it's shown in, in, in the ring, you know, I don't like to think it's more, I don't like to think it's a character uh, as such, more of a kind of extension of uh, who I really am, right, you know, so, that's the best way to man. I mean, just a horrible <laughs> piece of, you know what, yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, why try and sugarcoat it. I guess so. Uh, just very quickly as well, uh, one of the kind of newest stages of your career sees you over in the States a lot for Ring of Honor. Absolutely, uh, yeah. How has that been and how does that differ from working more primarily in the UK? I mean, to be honest with you, uh, Ring of Honor, it's, it's a great place for me to build a body of work. Uh, my big thing for many years has been, you know, long live the villain. And when I say that, it's because I want to, like I said, I want to build that body of work. I want to leave a legacy. I want to have these great matches that people will watch for many years to come, so that would long, you know, live on after I'm gone, you yeah. know what I mean? And, uh, you know, as, as kind of sad as that sounds, that's why I say, you know, long live the villain, I'm here to kind of put my stamp, not just in the wrestling world, but in the world in total, you know, and if I can resonate with someone and they can, you know, uh, they can watch me and enjoy me and everything else, uh, you know, that obviously brings me a lot of joy. So going to Ring of Honor is a great place for that. And what I like about Ring of Honor is uh, the villain that you're seeing is is the villain that I want to put out there. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm doing whatever I want, you know, which is great. I'm being me. You know what I mean? One of the things you did was carry on your rivalry with Will Ospreay. Uh, he won the television title and then you just immediately sort of snatched it away from yeah. him. It was quite yeah. this really. Well, he had it for like a day. Yeah, it know? was a day. And I had it for lots of days, so I think I'm, I'm literally about 3,000 times better than Will Ospreay. I'd, I'd probably, yeah. we've I mean, if we would have to have someone to work out the statistics, but like, it's near the 3,000 mark. I mean, like, we'll have to, a lot. We'll have to get the calculator up. Yeah, I'll, I mean, yeah, I mean, or whatever it is, but uh, no, in, in Ring of Honor, yeah, like, it's great. It's, uh, what I love about Ring of Honor, obviously, it, it's a big company and it is on TV, but it is pretty much, for the most part, based on what goes on between those ropes, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's, it's all about the in-ring action. And uh, yeah, you know, there's there's lots of I mean, amazing, you know, alternative products out there. You know, what Cultures One and, and Rev Pro, the guest match was all tonight. And of yeah. course, Ring of Honor. And you know, the television champion, so it's, it's going pretty good. It does well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, in Vegas next this week. Are you in Las Vegas? The villains in Vegas. So if anyone's watching Vegas and wants to show me a good time, then yeah, I'll never, I've never been. You have to let us know how it goes. But I mean, anyway. I don't even know who you are. Who are you? I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, I knew it was I a mean, mistake in the view. I moment. mean, I'll tell the other guys. Maybe pass this on, maybe. Yeah, I okay. Know. Well, I mean, my people will get in touch with. Well, I'll get yeah, in touch people. with your people. No, no, I'll get in touch with your people. Yeah. Marty, thank you very much yeah. uh, for this interview. Cool. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. awesome. Um, I've been Jack from WhatCulture.com. He is the villain, Marty Skull, and I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit humiliated right now, but it's okay. You'll wear it.
I mean, you'll get over it. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon.